Hey guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the finale of Twin Star Exorcist. I, I really honestly cannot believe we're here. This was like such a beautiful journey, and I hate the fact that it is over and that hopefully we get to see a happy ending where these two are happy and in love or possibly having kids because after this, this is now going to be a point where it's like, Deja, are you going to read the manga or Deja, are you just going to look up spoilers in the manga to see how in the world the manga can clear <laughs> But knowing myself, I'll probably do one of the two, just how, like, with the same thing as someone who is a manga reader from My Hero Academia, and who hasn't read the manga in, like, two, three years from My Hero Academia, currently trying to catch up, but because I am so busy with everything else, never really have the time. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 49, and three, two, one, go. Huh. <sighs> I am just like, uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> that might not work. But he can do it. Oh god, this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna hear this song. Oh my god. Because who even knows if they're gonna put it in the final, final episode? I mean, there are a lot of shows that, you know, specifically either do one of two things. They either put the, uh, the opening in the final episode or... They don't, and then they reverse it to the first song of the first season, and it's like that, just to bring everything up and wrap up everything all together. But I hate the fact that the, we're at the end of this, that after I finish episode 50, I'm, I'm done with this show, and then I move on to Crest of the Stars, and I'm going to wonder how in the world that series is going to go. I may have to go get some more drink after this. Well, after this episode, but... a way to get her out.
I mean, no, that's okay. But, you know, he probably can still punch. For a moment, I thought that was 3D or CGI, but mm, no, it's more 2D. If Arima dies in the second to last episode, I swear to God. Oh. 12 Guardians? Oh, no. Oh! I really didn't think he was going to come back. Yeah, I mean, you are OP as fuck, so, you know, duke it out. I mean, both of you are the idiots right now, but we don't have time for this. Yeah, but Kina can't know what the fuck to do with it all.
Exactly. That's only why we did it. <laughs> Not a life or death situation, kid. That's right. Yeah, once again, now's not really the time. So, um... <laughs> But at least they even got there again, though. Eating together. That's all that fucking matters. Even a boss couldn't defeat him. Well, you know, with the power of love, I mean, you know, I. Chris. So, okay. We don't even know how much time we have left until the next one falls. That's not enough. <laughs> I mean... So you just like Fushi and I from two year eternity.
That's okay. They still have enough in each other. I don't know if that'll be enough to destroy this thing, but hey. Yeah, and you both matured. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Kind of for me, in a way, that's when I truly knew that their hearts were at one and that they really, truly loved each other because they both cared for Sai. I mean, you could see it from, like, Mm, maybe like the early maybe first 20 episodes but like by the time Sai came in and Sai that Sai are concluded just ugh and this was their final test Possibly. Hmm. Oh, there's only two left. And that's just one, isn't it?
Mm -hmm. oh. Do what? <laughs> Why would you end like that? Oh my god. You know I don't like it when shows end abruptly. Oh my god. We have one episode left. They have one last chance to save the world. This is their final test. Everything that they've done for the last two years has led up to this moment and this is the final moment for these two and they have to put their all into it and, and it's scary it really truly is i'm glad that we finally got to see these two freaking kiss I, I was expecting it more in episode 50 truly and not in 49 but it's okay um was very surprised about coming we make an appearance didn't think he was gonna make an appearance but like oof big oof but oh god like you know how when you get really anxious and scared for the cast and especially the main two characters and you're like, how in the world are they going to defeat this like final villain of this entirety of this show? And you're just sitting here like, how are you going to do this and such? But of course, they can't. Don't know how the fuck they going to do this. Oh my God. Cause <laughs> Stress. <laughs> Big, big stress, but of course they're gonna overcome this and they're gonna be together no matter what. And I'm just like, uh, I are. Uh, I just hope the preview doesn't spoil like too, too much. Or we may not even get, never mind, we're getting a preview. anything else about this episode this was really good i mean especially with the fact is that once again these two are finally together again and that they are able to do this together because when they're alone yes they accomplish something but they can only accomplish more if they are truly together seeing the flashback of like almost every single person that they've met good bad and everyone else in between just oh god it really makes you realize like damn we about to get into the final final episode of this show and I really honestly am super excited to see how this show concludes and such but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode okay final episode in three two one go let me take this off for a sec because my ear oh no we showing it okay Okay, never mind. That's not important. I was thinking those were like brand brand spiker new cards, but now they're old. Technically they're new slash old, but nah. <laughs>
Because they care for the world, unlike you. is wrong. Then in a way you're just as worse as him. Which is what he's gonna say, of course. I don't think there's anything else you can do. I mean, because we all know that's bullshit, right? Because, I mean, we know that this show is going to end on a happy note. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Now, if I hear a sigh...
Also, can we talk about how beautiful this is? Like, oh my god. Uh huh. I would cry at the last episode or just tear up. It gives me very, like, oh my god, what? The Aurora, yeah, the Aurora lights. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> no. No. He no go. <laughs> oh god.
That was cute. That's all. That was cute. Final thoughts on this show. This was a very, 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 very number one <laughs> underrated show. Probably when this show came out in 2016 and concluded somewhat of 2017. Um, of course, it was hella underrated. Oh. <laughs> Yes, this is very underrated. Very, very underrated. I, I can't imagine, like, go <laughs> going back in time to, of course, I, I, I'm guessing this aired around the time when I started YouTube. I mean, because, whoa, God, going back to fall 2016 and how I started with, like, only two shows and not even knowing how, like, my career was going to go and how I was going to be established and everything and the fact is like everything that happened happened and such everything in between and this is that and the third um 
It's always interesting to see shows that have come out around the time when I started YouTube and such because there were so many other shows that a lot of people were talking about and at that time I was only really watching two because of course at that time I was just like I only think I can really just do two and then eventually I did one more which was three and then now look at me watching like up to sometimes like my limit is 13 and such and sometimes people are like how can you do that and I'm like hell there's been guys that I've known that watch 20 and I'm like how are you doing that because I know I can't but yeah this was really a truly underrated show Show, and I really loved and enjoyed watching it every single week and I know a lot of people especially like the person who requested this plus people on the side who were also watching this with me every single week really truly enjoyed either going back into this series or getting into this series I'm like in a way I'm glad that I was able to watch this really because it's also funny because like thinking about Tanjo Seiyu like knowing that this was probably maybe one of many of the first jobs that he'd had before he got Demon Slayer, you get to hear, like, how his range was before, you know, as him as Tanjiro, because, like, him as Tanjiro, he, that is now his most iconic role. I know probably this is maybe at that time when this show concluded was his iconic role, but we all know that Tanjiro is one of the most notable roles that he'll be known for for the rest of his life. Same thing with any other Seiyu. When they get that character that is so iconic and so memorable to uh, fans, people who have never even seen anime, um, to the point where, like, coming into the freaking Tokyo to <laughs> Tokyo Tokyo 2020 slash 2021 Olympics where you know iconic characters from so many different genres of anime get to represent Japan in the Olympics is one of those even though like yeah, it would have been nice to see Tanjiro on there and a whole bunch of little a bunch of other people but you know hey one of my other favorite series is in it. So yay, I had to be happy about, about that. But I am sad that this is over because this was such a truly sweet show with action and romance, which is something that I always love when, whether it's together or apart, because it's so good. And I mean, of course, as someone who, a, a girl like me, who will eat the crap out of romance and eat the crap out of like freaking action, action anime, depending on what it is and if it truly, um, can give me that hook as much as other shows was because at first I think when I got to like the first two episodes and I watched in dub I, I at first I thought I wasn't really going to like this but I think once I continued past the first four episodes and continued it and to see these two grow as characters in the span of 50 episodes plus the two years that they were doing this um, I really truly cared for these characters as if they were my own kids or something like that. Same thing with Sai and everybody else from this show. I, I mean, I'm sad that this really is truly over, but I think if it really got a sequel and let's say the manga concluded like today and we got the chance, I think, in my opinion, just as almost like with a lot of reboots that are currently happening today, I think the one thing I possibly would have seen um, instead of it being like another generation, so like maybe years and years later after Rokoro and Benio have, you know, passed on, I think it would have been nice, like, if this got a sequel to see their kids. Like, you know how, like, okay, recently, Fruits Basket just recently ended. And if Fruits Basket does their sequel, if that sequel from that show, from the series gets an anime, it is about both um the kids of everybody in that show and i really truly want to see that so if the show ever truly got to get a second season or something a reboot or anything i would have liked to see their kids especially getting into the situation of the fact is that they have to be the twin star actresses after their parents and then having their parents be there for them for when times get for us and this is that the third but I, like I said, once again, I really, truly enjoyed this show. I will miss it a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to the entire series of Twin Star Actresses. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for the start of the Crest of the Stars or the North Stars. I really don't remember how to say it, but until then, I will see you guys officially all next time. Bye!